Welcome to Doing Makeup But For Hooded Eyes, I'm Peachy. We are jumping into this look today and honestly, eyeshadow is not my forte, but this is my best attempt at like a smoky brown halo eye. Everything that I use in this video will be linked in the description below, so let's get into it. Okay, first what I'm gonna do is go in with some P. Louise. You need to use an eyeshadow base. You can use concealer, an actual eyeshadow base, whatever you wanna use, but you should use something. I'm gonna use some P. Louise in shade Rumor 2 and just blend it out with a beauty blender. Now I personally think that putting setting powder on your lid before you put eyeshadow helps a lot. It helps me blend my eyeshadows a lot better. It's a preference of mine, so I'm gonna put the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder all over my lid. Now you definitely don't have to use tape if you don't want for this look. I just really want that clean cut look and it's going to be a lot easier to do the eyeliner. So I'm going to put some tape. I'm just going to relax my face and put the tape as straight as I possibly can from my lower lash line. For this entire look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O Supernatural Glow Palette. And for the majority of this, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. But for the first color, I'm just going to go in with a dark brown. Using the dark brown is purely for dimension, so I'm only going to be using a little bit. I want to bring it only very slightly above my hood. Just like that, slightly above. And you're putting the color on the very tip of the brush and doing tapping motions just to get as much pigment on there as you can. Now we're going to do the same thing to our inner corner. And don't worry too much about the space in the middle. You want to keep a little bit of space just so you don't have to remove as much pigment. But we're going to be removing the middle anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Now if you don't have one, I would highly, highly suggest getting a shadow swap pan. Just so you can use the same brush in between colors. I'm going to be using the same one, the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. And go in with this kind of reddish brown shade. And go right over the brown. After going right on the brown, I'm going to slowly start bringing that up above. Okay, now using the same red, we're just going to connect these two up here. Now I'm going to use the same brush, clean it off in my shadow swap pan, and then I'm going to go in with like a very light beige color. We're going to stack that right on top of the reddish brown, right on the edge where we ended. And then slightly out towards the temple. Now I'm going to take a big clean fluffy brush, start blending out the top edge here. I'm not doing windshield wiper motions, I'm going to be placing my brush and then swiping out, placing and swiping. And then I'm also going to go in where that dark brown is and with the same brush, I haven't put any pigment on it and I'm just going to do some tapping motions. You really just blend and add as much as you need to and until you're happy with it. This is a lot of blending though, so be patient. Blending out eyeshadow is always a trust the process type of thing. So I want the brown to be a little bit deeper, so I'm just going to place a very small amount where we did before. Then I'm going to take a clean fluffy and blend out those edges. Okay, now for the halo eye cut crease part, I'm going to take a q-tip and some micellar water. The easiest way to do this in my opinion is switching from looking straight on and closing your eye just to make sure that it's even, but first take the pigment off of where your lid is. At least on my eyes, I can kind of see where I removed the pigment, but then when I do this, you missed all of this up here. So now you just need to slowly start removing that pigment up here, but leave a little bit of the red up here. You don't want to remove the pigment all the way up to your brow. So I'm not done yet, but you can kind of see where I'm going with it. You just need to create something that you can see. <laughs> Alright, now that we've removed that pigment, I'm going to go back in with some P. Louise on a flat brush just in this area. Now that we have this, I'm going to go in with this gold shimmer shade on my finger and pack that in. Alright, now that we have this packed in, I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and go over the edges of the glitter just to soften them up a little bit. 
And when you are blending this and softening up the edges, you want to go from the darkest colors into the shimmer because if you start bringing the shimmer out, then you're going to lose the halo effect. Now with my fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into that reddish brown shade just a very little bit at a time and start blending this shimmer in more. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more shimmer on my finger and bring it up to my brow bone, just a very small amount. Okay, you could stop here if you want. I'm going to go a little bit further and add a tiny bit of like a smoked eyeliner. I'm using the NYX Epic Smoke Liner, just a black pencil liner. I'm going to go right in this crease right here and draw down. Now using the Morphe V203 brush, I'm going to dip into the dark brown and go right over that eyeliner. And then go over that again with the reddish brown. Okay, now the last thing that I like to do, just to make sure my outer edges are blended, I like to use a face powder. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix, and I'm just going to very lightly go on the outsides just to kind of tone them down and just make sure that it's blended. Alright, let's do this tape reveal. Pretty! Now I'm just going to take a q-tip with some micellar water and clean up any fallout that happened. I'm going to go do my base and then we can finish up this look after that. Now that I've done my base and finished up this other eye, I'm going to go in with that pencil liner again, the NYX Epic Smoke Liner, and I'm going to tight line on my waterline right here, but avoiding the middle part where the halo look is. So I'm only going to do right here and in my tear duct kind of on the outer portion of my eye, but make sure we leave the middle with nothing. And then I'm going to take this eyeliner and go directly underneath my lash line as well. Okay, now I'm going to take the V203 brush again and start smoking out these areas with the dark brown that we used earlier. Now that we have all that smoked out, you're going to take whatever glitter you used for the middle, use a really tiny brush or you can use your finger, and we're going to fill that little gap in. Somebody made a request for me to do this and I thought it was a good idea, so let me throw some mascara on and then I'm going to show one with fake lashes and one with just mascara. This is the side with the false lashes and this is the side with just mascara. Okay, if you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, you are my favorite! I'm honestly super happy with how this turned out just because, like I said, eyeshadow is not my strong suit, especially because blending eyeshadow takes so much patience. I hope you try this look out on yourself. I actually do a shorter form to- We have a visitor. This is my puppy Zeus. Now if you're finding me through YouTube, I actually do shorter form tutorials over on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to give me a follow over there. And as always, if this video was helpful to you at all and you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a like and even hit subscribe. That would mean the absolute world to me. And, and leave me a comment down below if you want to see any specific looks and I will add them to my list. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.